any advance on five. Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Out of the Loop. My name is Tom. My name is Chris. Uh, I'm Dave and I have the same size feet as the average 13 year old. While we're talking about all these different subjects, uh, if you have something to add to them, please do put it in the comments below. We do try to reply to them and we will eventually reply to them on this show as well. Also, give it a like. Give it a like right now because you're going to love this. You know you're going to love this. Just keep giving it a like. A comedian has accused cancer research of fat shaming in a series of angry tweets hitting out at the charity over its new obesity is the biggest cause of cancer after smoking campaign. Have we all seen this? It's been all over the place. I have heard. Have you I seen haven't, it, Tom? I haven't seen it, which is why I have not changed my diet yet. But, um, that's why. <laughs> Cause that's, yeah, because that's what's going to do it. Danish-born and UK-based award-winning comedian Sophie Hagen, 29, strongly condemned the campaign, stating that it is incredibly damaging and that society viewing fatness as a negative thing is a thing that kills more than the cancer. Does she also hate that it's factually correct? Does that really annoy her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's damning on fat people and factually correct. It's backed up by science. And I hate science because I'm a comedian. What award did she win by chance? I don't know, it doesn't say. Most irritating <laughs> person. <laughs> Biggest science denier of the year award. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, best flat earther. <laughs> uh, do you know where I saw that? I saw that in an amusing uh, Twitter yeah. or... Thing gift on a rolling on a, on a rolling yeah where uh, on a rolling bus stop yes. advertising sign where it's that and then it flicks up to a 99p cheeseburger or something <laughs> which is McDonald's. like it's funny when you put it that way if you reverse it and it's a re- McDonald's first and then obesity afterwards it oh, changes the meaning again it does. Yes. so I've got some of her tweets old Sophie the science denier Sophie Hagen uh, she says right is anyone currently working on getting this piece of shit Cancer Research UK advert removed from everywhere is there something I can sign how the fucking fuck is this okay is, is she fat yeah like I hate this I hate when fat people think that they're they're fit and healthy like I really do like I'm overweight I, I feel it like I'm not fully healthy but also and I'm well aware that scientifically I'm probably more You're likely right. to get heart disease I'm more at risk from certain things like I'm not thick I, I would like to be slimmer I don't put much effort into being slimmer so I'm not but let's not deny it like that's it, it, I know what you mean it, it, it's so like the charity defended themselves in Sophie's Twitter feed saying the campaign was based on science it said it isn't meant to make <laughs> anyone <laughs> feel bad science. about science. their weight and, may, and uh, that it aims to raise awareness of how being overweight can cause cancer. The charity added, as after smoking, obesity is the second biggest cause. It is our duty to inform people about this and lobby the government on policies which will help us all to keep a healthy weight. I wonder if she's not a smoker and she's never had a problem with any of those smoking ones. Oh. It is a bit like her saying, well, you know, you shouldn't be making smokers feel bad. Yeah. Don't I smoke, them. I know, I know, it's not good for me. Yeah. Anyway, she continued and said, and you can absolutely go absolutely go away in terms of trying to excuse it. Society viewing fatness as a negative thing is a thing that kills more uh, than the cancer that you might get due to maybe mm. something to do with, with you possibly fact. weighing more than a certain weight, possibly maybe. How does she, does she justify that though? Not the, really. The, what she's essentially saying is fat shaming kills more people than... Yes, that's fat, what she said. That's right, what she fat said. cancer. That's yes, yeah. what she's saying. That's Basically. Then fat cancer. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure that there are deaths that can be attributed to fat shaming yes. because of body yeah, image yeah. things and all of those kind of things. All that, yeah. But doesn't cancer kill like one in four people? One in four people are affected by it or something like one in seven or something like it. But oh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a high proportion. A high and proportion. if you were to look at if you were to look at that figure based Compared on to... those who are those who are affected by it who are obese... Mm. It's, you know, it's clearly, it's the smokers are first and then the fat people are the second. Fat people. And I'm sure I, that number v- she, vastly she, outweighs those that are affected yes. by. And says, and BMI has been debunked decades ago. It's not a valid way of measuring anything. Just looking at you is, though. Um, on the <laughs> contrary, <laughs> dieting has been proved time and time again to be one of the worst things you can do to your body. Your campaign is so damaging and fat-shaming, and I really hope it gets taken down. Oh, but, but this is the thing, But there's like, a difference between dieting, fad dieting, mm, and eating, eating healthily, healthily and getting enough yeah. exercise. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, she, what's, it sounds like what she's saying is, is you're promoting something that is equally as bad for people as as the mm. opposite. It's like, but they don't mention anything about dieting, do they? They just say mm. that obesity 
No, they're just saying it's a, it's a, that, contributing it's a big fact, cause of that's factor to second, cancer. Second biggest preventable cause after smoking. Yeah. yeah, that's that's when you know she has no point. Is the fact that they haven't even said stop being fat, or they haven't said there's a fat person and gone look at this fatty fat fat. They have literally stated a fact, and in fact they haven't even written out obesity mm. in full. She's just taking this to a complete extreme because yeah, fat shame. You shouldn't fat shame people if you are okay being a little overweight and you have no fine. issue yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, be that. Be, be that, that if you want. Do that, but, but don't ignore. Don't ignore <laughs> the health risks yeah. associated with like. Well, the she, extra she, strain on your heart, problems with joints. Yeah. You can't have certain operations if you're mm. overweight yeah. because yeah. the risk to it's your life is too great. For the, the anesthesia. But yeah, just throwing it out there. Oh. None of us had heard of Sophie Hagen before we started having know, this yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that Sophie Hagen has either A, got a DVD coming out, <laughs> B, is about to go on tour, or C, there's an awards thing coming up and she wants to win another one? No, I, I, th- I think she could be deluded enough to think that this is a really bad thing. It's always get, it always gets a bit awkward when I sleep with skinny guys because there's a lot of insecurity. You know, the whole thing where he doesn't like his body and I don't like his body. <laughs> the fact that she's offended by this means that there's some deep-seated problems there. If you if you didn't care, it wouldn't matter to no, you. No, she's just. I think she it's just misdirected. Because yeah, you shouldn't fat shame people, but this is just horrendously misdirected. And in that comedy piece as well, she just shamed skinny skin, skinny shamed. You know, she was like, yeah. oh, he didn't like his body. Why not? Why can't the skinny man like his body? I I just find it. I find this whole thing. It's weird. Being offended by a fact is weird. Yeah. Like you you are. Th- there's no way you are right. Like that's the issue because. It is a stated fact, whether you like it or not. But people don't like hearing things they don't want to hear. No. Because she wants to live in a fantasy land where she's incredibly healthy. Mm. As someone once said, you're entitled to your own opinions. You are not entitled to your own facts. (laughs) (laughs) Jamie Carragher. Oh, (laughs) what a way to ruin your career. Am I right? (laughs) Like fantastic so for those of you who don't know uh, Jamie Carragher is an ex-footballer for Liverpool he played at Liverpool I think all his life I think that was his whole career he's a proper scouser Um, and uh, he basically was being taunted because Liverpool lost to their rivals biggest rivals Manchester United at the weekend and a Manchester United fan was filming whilst he was driving and we'll um, he was chanting yeah 2-1 Jamie 2-1 Jamie like this I mean you say chanting driving past him What's a chant? Yeah, you can chant three chants. It's a chant. Chant. Is, I think a ch- isn't a chant a bit melodic. Two one, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> he reminded Jamie Carragher of the score. Well, this did yeah, not. Go this bold. did not go down well. It did not. Jamie Carragher was like, "Oh my god, that was the score." Yeah. So he then <laughs> he then decided he really lost his mind. <laughs> he ran, ran down his window and then he spat. And the pictures are hilarious. It's a proper <laughs> flob as well, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. And it's he's, a lot of spit. It like, was you, a lot. You know, of spit. I could if I, I, I were to just I off generate, the cuff yeah. try and spit in someone's face. It's a or lot. Just spit. Sp- no, because he was he was driving, wasn't he? He so was. Spat, if I were to spit from one car to another, yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't. Like, think I don't reach. That, he's got. You wouldn't lo- reach. You've yeah. got to have like. It would it'd just end up sliding down the side of my door. <laughs> he's got very yeah, good or mouth just, muscles. Or just getting yeah. sort of, yeah, onto my chin. Because I was once sick out the side of a car, and I thought I was going to explode it out. Right, that no. was the plan. It. Yeah, all up the yeah. side of my mate's yeah. car. Because we've all done it in a taxi, haven't we? No, no, I, no? I've, I've been... Actually, I've not been sick out the window of a taxi. I've been sick in my mouth in a taxi. Oh, And then dang. sat for probably about the next... Oh. I don't know. Well, I was, I was very drunk, so I don't know how much further we actually went. We were in one of those seven-seaters, and oh. I was right at the back. Oh, so no. there was nowhere I could go. There was no window I could do, so it literally was just a... <gasps> it's a very noble thing you did. <laughs> Did a part of you think I could just down this? Oh. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, it was very watery. <laughs> Jamie Carragher, he managed, yeah, sorry. He managed to flob so far that he didn't necessarily hit the driver, but he did hit the 14-year-old girl that was sat next to the driver. And that's what makes this story even better because now everyone calls him <laughs> a child spitter. Like, it's brilliant. <laughs> It's so funny. No one will like, ever forget this ever. Like because if he was like when Grobbler took a bung, isn't it? Yeah. Or or when Gary Lineker shit on the side of a bus. Yes. 
<laughs> which he is yes. still <laughs> like 30 happen? years he, later. He did it, and people remind him on Twitter. Every time he writes something on Twitter, people <laughs> go, time. yeah, but you shout inside of a pitch. Yeah. He must have he's known the child was there. He, well, he's, he said he knew there was someone in the passenger seat. He knew that it was a girl, but or he knew he that it was a female, 14, yeah. but he didn't know she was 14. He's like, all oh, right, so it's that's fine. I'll spit on an adult lady. But not, yeah. but not on children. Yeah, not on children. It's, it's fine if, if they're Equality. over the age of consent, then it's absolutely fine to spit from one car to another to be fair, in I, their face. I think yeah. you're right, Chris. It's very progressive of him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, you know yeah, opportunities. I'll, I'll spit on a man. I'll spit on a woman. Yep. Yeah. So he's currently been suspended. He has. He oh. does Monday Night Football, and it was Stoke versus Man City. So Gary Lineker, the uh, the the pitch the hitter, pitch pooer, <laughs> pitch hitter. Yeah. He he decided <laughs> he decided to tweet out Cara twenty three at Cara twenty three. Uh, oh, so he's, he's he's tweeted at him, at right, Gary Lineker, directly. just to let him know nice. that he's talking about him. He said, "Can't do it on a cold, damp Monday night at Stoke." <laughs> And then uh, good old Shrevesy, Jeff Shreves decides to get involved in it, um, who, who, who sounds like a hell of a lot of fun, I'll Jeff tell you that. <laughs> and he said, good luck with your halo to Gary Lineker. Pit through, shitter. <laughs> through, through your toys out of the pram when at Mr. Jake Humphrey commented on a graphics mistake. I don't know what the graphics mistake they're talking about is. I don't is. know. Maybe he'd log this in a little diary of he, hate. He must have. So Lineker then put, oh, you've not seen my other tweet. You sort of messaged me too soon. And he went, no, I haven't. Never right. Never funny. Never right. Never funny. Don't joke about the man who spat at someone. Pitch, yeah. <laughs> Your phone insured. I hope I've not broken my phone. <laughs> Everyone likes to get a bit uppity about these kind of things. Like, we're all angels that behave ourselves all the time. I'm a bit like, it's a low blow, like spitting at somebody. Yeah, I don't think it's I've ever spat at someone. Yeah, no, I was going to. I oh, hate it oh. when people do that. Everyone was like, yeah, but we've all made mistakes. Like, don't put me in that. Yeah. I've made mistakes, but I've never done things like that, ever. Like, it's not like a whoop, doop, doop, doop. <laughs> I spat at someone I haven't in my life. And I get he gets a lot of abuse. I get that. But it does come part but and parcel you almost with your need, job. Yeah, he needs to be better at dealing with it because yes, of yeah. because of the the elevated level of kind of. You it know. was pretty stupid considering he could probably see the bloke had a phone in his hand. Yeah, and the dad really couldn't have given a shit. Actually. No, he couldn't. That's the thing. <laughs> he just, no, he, the, the daughter Jamie says Ca- he just spat on me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, the dad, and the dad just goes, <laughs> "Did he?" Jamie Carragher. <laughs> Jamie Carragher. Yeah, and then about thirty seconds later, he goes, "What really?" We're, you're right. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I think what I, I would have think. done, I think if, if I would have wound the window and waved sort of thing, like, oh, you're always being nice. 2-1, two, mate. 2-1. Two, I would have gone, huh? 2-1. Two, 2-1, one, two, one, mate. Oh, no, I'm a multi-millionaire. <laughs> yeah. And they yeah. just driven off. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I can't, I'm a multi-millionaire. Yeah. I can't hear you. I got can't hear you over all the change jangling <laughs> in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there are many annoying, cringeworthy, or just plain horrific experiences that passengers have had to endure on commercial flights. Farting men and screaming children being just two. But this one probably tops a lot. A passenger on a flight from Malaysia has been arrested after he bizarrely decided to strip off mid-flight, load up on some high-quality porn on his phone, <laughs> lie back, had a wank. <laughs> the gentleman's choice. <laughs> The man, a 20-year-old Bangladeshi student at a Malaysian university, also walked to the toilet with no clothes on, pissed all over his seat, and attacked a flight attendant during the flight <laughs> from Kuala Lumpur to Dhaka on Saturday. Why did that get a laugh from us? <laughs> what attack- we are terrible yeah, people. Yeah, what, he attacked a woman. <laughs> but like, he's gone proper, like, no clothes. Proper, not yeah, just, like, he's not pulled, hiding it. He's yeah. not pulled, he's not yeah. just, like, snuck it out. Yeah, he is. What's is- that next to him? I don't know, maybe. It that's looks like uh, a box of tissues. I don't think it is. A witness said the man started behaving aggressively towards flight crew after they asked him to put his clothes on. Attacking. Had he finished? Because that can I, I can understand know. why. Yeah, you get a bit, yeah, get a bit grumpy Just if let you've me been finish. Insult- yeah. Yeah, interrupted. Uh, this came after the man allegedly tried to hug female staff members while on his way to the toilet. I have been naked on a plane. What? Um, okay. I, I, and I, like I, in adulthood. Oh, in adulthood. In adulthood, I was. I must have been about twenty three ish, twenty four maybe. And and it's not. It's not as funny as that sounds. But like basically, when I when I when I travel, sure? if I'm tired and I'm traveling, I get incredibly bad travel sickness. Incredibly <laughs> bad travel sickness that will put me out for a couple of days. Why is tired relevant? I don't know. For some reason, I've noticed I get tired. And, and, and Or if there's a strong perfume smell can also set me off. I have no idea why. This is just my life. So I was on the plane 
Um, and I started to feel really sick, getting really hot. And I was like, I need to go, I need to go to the toilet because I need to cool down, right? Yeah. So I, I, I basically put the cold water on and I was just like getting my head freezing right, yeah. cold, putting it under my wrists. And I was like, oh no, I'm, I'm still really hot and feel really bad. So I took off my top, right? Because I'm like, well, I can take off a top. Top's fine. You know, that's yeah, fine. That's successful. And I start dabbing under my armpits because I know <laughs> they get, because they get quite warm and they get more sweaty because obviously I'm getting hot and I'm feeling sick. And one thing I've noticed, and this is going to make it sound weird, and I don't know if this will make the edit or not, or whether I'll cut Ooh. this, but I've noticed that if I put cold water on my balls, it generally <laughs> makes me feel better. I don't know whether I'm going to keep that in. How but did you, how, did you, how did you discover Because that? when I've been unwell before and I've been laying down, I will, I will put my cold, if I've got cold hands, because I'll be outside, I try and yeah. go outside quite a lot. I put it under my armpits or I put it on my, like in, in, in arms, the pit in the yeah. arms and stuff like that. And then I've noticed that I, if I go there, I'm like, oh, it's, then you just I'm naturally, warm. Don't you? Then I'm warm. Yeah. yeah. So, I, so one of my things is my, so I'm like, oh, actually that feels, uh, it cooling makes me feel better down, calling my yeah. balls down. So I've, so I then stripped completely off in the toilet. Um, just stood there cupping your balls. No, no, no. I was chucking. They put them no, in the sink. I then, I then realised the easiest way to get a lot of water on me was to keep the tap going and then just. <laughs> <laughs> so I did this. So I flicked it, <laughs> and I just flicked it all at myself to just soak myself in freezing I, I cold water. <laughs> it's like a fucking perfume advert yeah. in hell. <laughs> yeah. Do you on, know, a, like on, the, on a budget yeah. flight. <laughs> Like the easy jet version mm, of yeah. Davidoff advert. <laughs> just, you know, yeah. put cramp plain toilet to get you. Divinity. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> and then I, ca- I like, obviously, I'm like, I've been in here a long time. So you're quickly, and that's the Tra- thing that's really annoying. Quickly trying to get dressed. Yeah, is it? But you you know what, what? though? It's what? really hot. <laughs> yeah, so I'm wet as well. No, but my clothes aren't wet because they've been off. <laughs> no, but you had to put them yeah. on and you're wet. Yeah, and then it's, they get <laughs> sticky because you're cold and whatever. Uh, you're wet. So I'm putting them back on. But obviously, because it's such a small space, as you're putting them on, your arms are hitting the sides. So I'm like, like oh, I'm like making it. all sorts of noise. So anyone outside's going to think, what's he up to in there? But luckily, they can't and see me naked. And then you come out looking a bit sweaty. So I come out sweaty. <laughs> Are you soaking wet? Sweaty, there's so definitely. I was talking about so- just sopping. I wasn't you soaking sh- you wet. Wet armpits, big wet patch on the front of his trousers because his balls are so wet. <laughs> so I walked out, I walked out and uh, sat back down, and then I was terribly sick and I was unwell on holiday for the past So next after few all days. of that yeah. effort. Because because I felt so weird being in there for so long, I came out and then as I came out I and sat you were down, agitated I then you felt worse. Yeah, you've been yeah. in there for a long time. If I know. if I could have stayed in that toilet all the way back until I got to Spain, all the way down to Spain, then I would have been all right. But so basically, I'm saying I can I understand this man's life. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, at least you were a little discreet about it. Yes, and I you, know were, you were yeah. concerned. You you left the toilet. Yeah, because you were concerned that there was someone was else be... who might want to use it. Yes, that's true. He he, he got he aggressive was just with having people. A wank yeah. Everywhere. Does it give any explanation he's as to why he was behaving? Drugs, right? He's, oh, he's go. Yeah, you never know. We might be making a someone uh, making fun of someone who's having a mental breakdown. Well, I think we are. So no, they don't really know. Maybe he just got bored. Boredom does weird things to you. Doesn't tug yeah, you it's off never on an done, Yeah, it's never it? done that weirder thing. What have you done in your most boredest state? Oh, I tried to think, really. Discovered your arsehole. <laughs> Discovered my arsehole on a flight. <laughs> if you like what you've seen, uh, give us a like, give us a subscribe. If you, like, if you like what you see here, leave a comment at the bottom. He will dish his number out. Mm, willy-nilly. Wi- yeah, anyone. <laughs> or, or failing that, you can probably find it in a public laboratory somewhere. That's true. I've, yeah. I've put it in quite a few. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. We release videos every Thursday and every Sunday, so please keep checking back in on us. Put it in your diary. Mm, it's very important. Or just subscribe and then you get a notification. That's true. Or, or remember. Just subscribe. Do. You don't have to remember don't, anything. Yeah, these just, days, just do you? subscribe. Why would you yeah. tell people not to subscribe and just remember? No, I, I, didn't, I didn't say don't subscribe, just to remember. You said just remember. Just remember. I swear he's trying to sabotage this. <laughs> and and sub- <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, honey.